Hi there, my name is Raya Pakasi. I'm very happy to uh, meet you all again. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, stopping uh, digging planet Earth for resources and start digging within you for resources. So we have been plundering the Earth for the past uh, 150 years since industrial revolution and uh, Earth is being exploited. In fact, Earth is exhausted. There are no resources there. 80% of the uh, planet Earth's resources are already plundered. Only 20% uh, is remaining uh, for the future generations. How are we going to uh, solve the intergenerational justice here? And our future generations, uh, they won't have enough resources. And uh, our generation has exhausted all the resources available on planet Earth. So we need to stop digging Earth and start digging within you. There is enormous amount of wealth and resources within each human being. I'm talking about inner resources of compassion, kindness, empathy, generosity, sharing, sacrificing, there are so many resources within all of us and we need to dig them and bring them out. So it is a distraction when you dig outside that uh, economic resources that will never satisfy you. You dig silver, <laughs> you want gold. You dig gold, you want coal. You dig coal and you want petrol, diesel, one leads to the other. When you consume all these resources from the earth, that will never give you satisfaction. It perpetrates greed, more greed. You want more and more. And you may be happy only for a short, short time, but you'll be wanting more and more. That is what's happening. Planet Earth's material resources will never ever satisfy you. But the inner resources, what I'm talking about, they will satisfy you. That is the place where you experience real joy. We are always distracted Material things give us happiness and joy. Maybe it may be giving happiness when that, for example, when I, I buy a cell phone, I experience sense of happiness. When somebody steals that cell phone from you, <laughs> happiness is gone. You lost the happiness. The moment that instrument leaves your hand, happiness is gone. But joy is not like that. Joy is something permanent. It comes from within of a, uh, a empathetic uh, things and of compassion, love and kindness when you show to somebody, you draw a sense of joy. And Jesus says, that joy will not be taken away. It is something permanent. It's going to be with you always. And uh, every human person is a planet Earth. Planet Earth is not out there. Planet Earth is right here. I am planet Earth. And you are planet Earth. And you are blessed with gifts, resources within you. And uh, Scientifically, I can put it, you are the microcosm 
of the macrocosm. That planet Earth is a macrocosm, which means it's a big world. You are a microcosm, a small Earth, a small world. So that is what you are. And uh, start digging within you, I think we can solve many of our environmental problems. Uh, in Tamil, we used to say, uh, especially, that means when you say enough, that is the starting point of heaven. So we need to say enough. A Hindu saint called Tirumula uh, in Tirumandram, he says, uh, my former Bishop Michael Augustine, the Archbishop of Pondicherry, now he is retired. He was my Bishop in Velo. He ordained me. Uh, and uh, he says, he loves Tirumula. And he repeats that very often. Which means, there is nothing you lack. You are the earth. You have everything what planet earth is having. And what planet earth is not having, you are not having. So you are, in other words, you are the perfect copy. You are the clone of planet earth. So I think we are all blessed with gifts. And uh, the moment we see within, we find a gold mine and you dig it and give it to others. And by giving your love, your kindness, your generosity, your sacrifice, your sharing, your empathy, I think this planet Earth will benefit from you. So far, we have been benefiting from the planet Earth. Planet Earth is now exhausted. Mother Earth is now hurt, exhausted, sick. Mother Earth is having fever and we need to treat her before she would die. So I think with our inner resources, we show compassion to Mother Earth. So that is good. When Mother Earth cries, we cry with her. When Mother Earth hurts, we are also hurt with her. When Earth is happy, we also feel happy. That is how we are connected to Mother Earth. The goodness of Mother Earth is our goodness. The happiness of Earth is our happiness. And at last, we can exist only in relationship with our Mother. Thank you and God bless.